Hello, I am Mohammed from Cisco PDI Technical Advisor team. Today we are going to take a look at how to configure Syslog on ACI Fabric and also we will do some lab. Overview. To start with, Syslog is a widely used protocol for log monitoring. You can use it for collecting the fault, events and audit record from ACI Fabric. In ACI Fabric, you can define syslog based on the scope. Example, if you define the policy under access policy, you would be using it for monitoring the access interfaces. If you define syslog under fabric policies, you would be using it for monitoring the ports connecting between the leaf and spine. You can also define syslog under tenant which monitor the tenant related logs. So based on where you define the scope of the logs will differ. Let's move to the configuration. Configuration of the syslog is pretty straightforward. First you need to define the syslog destination policy group. In that, you specify the server IP and port details. Then, define the syslog source group policy and define the minimum severity of the logs and also what kind of log information you are looking for. Example, is it event related or fault related logs? Finally, you map the source policy to the destination syslog policy group. This is all you need to do from the configuration standpoint. Now coming to the verification part. To monitor the logs sent using the syslog, you can verify the var log messages on the switches. You can also do a TCP dump of the port 514. Now let's talk about the lab topology. In my lab, we have one spine, one API controller, and two leaf. As you notice, to reach the syslog server, I am using the inbound EPG. We will not cover the inbound EPG configuration details in this video. In our case, it is already configured. Let's talk about some prerequisites. The obvious prerequisite is you should be able to reach syslog server from the epic and also from the leaf and spine switches. In our case, we are using inbound EPG to talk to the syslog server. Also, you need to have the server with the syslog application running to monitor the logs. In our case, we are sending to a Red Hat server. Now let's log into the lab and see the syslog in action. First, let's connect to the CLI of Epic and Leaf and Spine switches and confirm the reachability to the syslog server. Okay. Reachability looks good from all the nodes and also from the controller. It is time to log into the Epic GUI and start doing the configurations. Let me connect to the Epic. I am logged into the Epic GUI. Once you logged in, navigate to the external data collectors under the admin. Okay, and select monitoring destinations and navigate to syslog. Using the action pop up, you should create syslog destination policy group. Let's give it a name and specify the IP address of the server. 
and choose in-band EPG. Once all the details are filled out, click OK and submit. With this, we have the syslog server specified. It is time to define the syslog source policy. Source policy you can define under tenant or you can define under fabric. You can have it under access policies. In our case, we are going to define under access policy to monitor access interfaces. Now let's add a syslog source policy. Give a name. For this demo purpose, I include all the available options and map it to the destination group policy which we created. And submit. Now let's enable some monitoring. Connect to leaf2. Let me connect to leaf2 and use TCP dump. I'm monitoring inbound interface. So now I'm connected to the Linux server and I'm monitoring the log messages on the Linux server. So I'm using the command tail of for the var log messages. Okay. Now it is time to generate some events. I'm going to disable interface 1 slash 4 on leaf 2. So let me navigate to port 1 leaf 2 interface physical interface 1 slash 4. As you see this interface is currently in connected state. Let me disable this interface. Let's see whether this event information is sent to the Linux server or not. As you see on my Linux server, I'm receiving a message saying 1 slash 4 is down. Let me go back and enable the interface. Now I see the interface is in connected state. Let's check the log messages. So now change the status from not connected to connected state. Okay, great. We have the syslog generated. Awesome. This concludes the syslog configuration demo on ACI Fabric. Thank you for watching. We will have more session coming in future. Thanks again.